Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice is set more than three decades after the first film and it follows Lydia Dietz, now a mother, struggling to keep her family together in the wake of a loss. As the specter himself, Beetlejuice returns to haunt her. All right. So this movie came out, I believe, well, I believe it came out in the, here in the United States uh, back in September 4th, I believe. Uh, so there's a reason why I, I'm I'm doing this very late, like over a month late. It's because I'd never watched the first uh, Beetlejuice film. I know, I've never seen the first Beetlejuice film until after the movie came out. This new movie, uh, Beetlejuice, the second one came out, and and I never seen the first film. And people have been talking about it. People keep mentioning it. I've been watching movies and TV shows that where the characters and everyone's been talking about it. So I'm like, okay, I'll I'll watch it. <clears throat> I'll watch it. And I sat down and I watched it, and I really love it. It was great. Oh my god, it was funny. It was there was some creepy mo creepy stuff to it too. Um, Tim Burton did a great job. Tim Burton, uh, you know the actors, you know Michael Keaton, Winona Ryder, Catherine O'Hara, uh, Alec Baldwin. You know they all did a great job. You know with the the first film, and now I understand why people love beetlejuice and this franchise is i think there's like an animated tv show too i and there's a musical i'm like what i didn't know that so i didn't know it was it was this big and this massive uh but yeah so now that i've seen the first film i sat down and i rented the second one this one and I I I did enjoy this movie. I, I again like it's as this film is as good as the first film. Um uh, but it's uh it's fun. It's you know, this movie is still fun. Tim Burton is still has it. Tim Burton still has it, Michael Keaton is still killing it as Beetlejuice. Um it's it's still fun. Um but it is I would say a less edgy sequel a less edgy uh film um you know it does bring you know tim burton tries to you know attempts to bring back the 1980s uh horror comedy uh, spirit back into this world um but uh but yeah i i thought you know i thought he did a great job again uh this movie is just wow like it, it's it's a return it's a return for both Tim Burton and Michael Keaton uh, to this franchise. I love the uh, the charming um, practical effects and the gags were very, <laughs> I guess you could say, ghoulish, uh, pun intended. Uh, it's this movie is still fun um, and still has the same energy and tone from the first film. So if you love the first Beetlejuice film, you're gonna have a great time with this one. Um, but yeah, yeah. Um, I, I I really I really don't know uh, what else to say. Like it's, you know, I love the effects. The, you know, because you know it's 2024, the effects, the CGI, you know. Are a lot better than back th than the first film because the first film, you know, it, it came out like what, like the the nineteen eighties, I believe. Yeah, nineteen eighty eight. Uh, it came out. The first Beetlejuice film came out in nineteen eighty eight. Um, a year, one year before my uh, a year, exactly one year before uh, Michael Keaton became Batman was cat, you know, became Batman. But yeah, um. I don't know what else to say. Like, that's... I've been, you know, I've been seeing a lot of regal, like, movie theater, like, advertisements and commercials about this film, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. 
and I, I never I never understood them. I never got it. Now I did. Now I do. After I watched the first film, now I I understand it all. Um, but yeah, but yeah, like like I said, uh, not really much more I can say. Um, uh, yeah, like it has the same overall. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. This second film is like it's still fun it's still it has the same energy as the first film um the acting was great uh we got some new you know some new cast members joining uh you know willem dafoe jenna ortega are two examples are two examples uh new cast members of new cast members joining uh this sequel um and they did a great job i mean it's willem dafoe and jenna ortega of course you know of course, and you know they, and also uh, Monica, uh, Monica Bellucci, uh, yeah, but yeah, they they all did a great job. I, I, uh, I, you know, I really love them. So yeah, if you love the first Beetlejuice film, you're gonna love this one. Um, it's a bit less edgy. I mean, I don't really know much about flaws. I mean, maybe, I mean, it's not really much of a flaw, more like a nitpick. I thought, like, the set designs and the set pieces were a little, <clears throat> was a it was a bit of a step down, but it, it's just a nitpick. I just, I don't really have, like, straight-up flaws or, like, issues. It's, I don't really have, like, straight-up flaws or issues. It's just, like, it's it's still fun. It's still good. I really enjoy this movie. I, I love it. I, I think it's a really good film. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have to say for Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Um, Tim Burton still, still got it. You know, after all these years, you know, after all these years and after all these decades, he, he still brings it back. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for taking time and listening to my review, my thoughts. Uh, please like. And subscribe, definitely subscribe, because when you subscribe to my channel, you'll be helping me out by a bunch. And that will really mean a lot to me, and I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks.